repeater for the data flow means all incoming packets are sent through the switch can be used with the twisted pair cable optical fiber cable or coaxial cable okay so you choose uh, your own cable as per your requirement in laboratory we use the lan wire okay cat 5 cables we use in our laboratories okay understood all of you so in star topologies also there are some advantages and disadvantages points okay so first is nothing but the fast performance with a few nodes and low network traffic second is hub can be upgraded easily third is easy to troubleshoot fourth is easy to set up and modify only that node is affected which has failed rest of the nodes can work smoothly because each and every node has the different cables which, which is attached to the centralized hub okay so what is the disadvantages of star topology so first is nothing but the cost of installation is high why cost of installation is high because either we use hub or switch each and every computer has the separate cable okay for the installation okay so hub and switch uh, prices as compared to the high okay so uh, these are expensive to use okay uh, if the hub fails then whole network is stopped because all the nodes depends on the hub okay suppose in this position the central node is hub okay so hub or switch hub is fail then all that network is collapse okay so performance is based on hub that is depends on its capacity okay so all the performance is based on your hub okay which are used uh, as a central point understood all of you so again we have the uh, uh, star topology animated video okay so here i will play uh, some star topology video also okay so this is nothing but the star topology video okay uh, so look at this animation okay so each and every computer should interact from centralized node okay so uh, suppose uh, computer first want to send the data uh, okay to and from and vice versa from another computer okay so each and every computer should join and uh, that hub or switch act as a central node understood all of you okay so after that the next point is mesh topology so what is mesh topology it is a point to point connection to other nodes or devices all the network nodes are connected to each other mesh has n into n minus 1 divided by two physical channels to link n devices okay so features are fully connected robust and no flexible these are the features of your mesh topology so here the advantages point is in mesh topology suppose this uh, wire is fail okay suppose uh, computer a want to send the data to computer 3 okay so either this computer has the dedicated channels okay so near about three wires are connected this first wire second wire and third wire your packet come from this position to this position also either select the channel second from this position to this position okay either this channel okay come packet come from this computer to this computer and this computer to this computer means our if any any wire should break the whole system cannot down because the dedicated another dedicated channels are available in mesh topology so this is the biggest advantages of your mesh topology so there are different uh, mesh topology advantages are there each connection can carry its own data load second is nothing but it is robust third is fault is diag diagnosed easily provide security and privacy so what is the disadvantages of mesh topology installation and configuration is difficult why installation and configuration is difficult because each and every computer has different dedicated wires so installation of these different dedicated wires is difficult as per previous topologies second is cabling cost is more we require more cable that's why cabling cost is more bulk wire is required okay 
so these are nothing but your mesh topology example so hope you understand well for the mesh topology so we will check uh, we have the uh, mesh topology uh, diagram is there animation video is there okay so look at that okay so mesh topology uh, animation video is available okay so each and every packet should uh, send the select the channel and send the uh, packet from one computer to another computer okay unidirectional packet system is there okay and more wires we use in mesh topology okay so this is the best topology but uh, uh, we require more cost to maintain okay the wires so this is nothing but your mesh topology example each and every switch has connected to each other and handles the traffic okay this is centralized switch okay if suppose this switch two switches are fail okay so network cannot disturb okay because we have the different topologies are there uh, okay so after that the three topology is there so what is three topology it has a root node and all other nodes are connected to it forming a hierarchy it is also called as hierarchical topology it should at least have three levels to the hierarchy okay so look at this diagram it uh, look like a tree topology so first computer is connected to second sec again second computer is connected to two nodes okay uh, so features of tree topology is ideal if workstation are located in groups okay used in wide area network so this is nothing but your tree topology there are some advantages points also in tree topology so first advantages is extension of bus and star topology okay extension of bus and star topology to minimize the errors in bus and star topology we use the tree topology second is expansion of nodes is possible and easy third is easily manage and maintain fourth is error detection is easily done so again some disadvantages point in tree topology also so first point is heavily cabled then uh, costly okay so each and every uh, node has the different cables uh, we attach if more nodes are added maintenance is difficult and uh, again one uh, biggest disadvantage is central hub fails network fails okay so this is nothing but your tree topology points so next is nothing but your hybrid topology so what is in hybrid topology it is two different types of topologies which is a mixture of two or more topologies for example if in an office in one department having ring topology is used and in another star topology is used okay connecting these topologies will result in hybrid topology ring topology and star topology okay so uh, here in this diagram we have the bus topology okay so this is nothing but single cable bus topology okay so again we have to form a tree topology okay so again these are connected through this server okay so this topology is different this topology is different and this topology is different okay understood all of you this is nothing but a mixture of your two topologies is nothing but your hybrid topology so what are the features of your hybrid topology it is a combination of two or more topologies second feature is inherits the advantages and disadvantages of the topologies included so one advantages is there reliable as error detecting and troubleshooting is easy in hybrid topology error detection and troubleshooting is easy second is it is a effective topology third is scalable as size can be increased easily we can increase the size of this topology okay so more node we will uh, attach to this topology then fourth is it is a flexible you have arranged any topology and connect to the hybrid network so what is uh, disadvantages of hybrid topology 
first is nothing but it is a complex in design okay so look at this this is nothing but the complex design so uh, a mixture of two or more topologies are there and we have to connect each and every topology to a central point next is costly okay so more and more uh, devices are required and wires are required that's why this hybrid topology is costly so uh, hope student we have covered the topologies point okay so one by one uh, we have cover all the topologies point okay so we have uh, firstly covered the bus topology ring topology star topology mesh topology and tree topology and hybrid topology in uh, uh, incoming uh, sessions we have covered the network architecture what is network architecture osi models tcpip model what are the different design issues of the layers okay so thank